I think we would call it our collective home. Um, students, they will be able to make um, lasting friendships. They will be able to define and shape their college experience. Construction is underway for Douglas College's first on-campus student housing building here in downtown U. Westminster. So the building will be here at 808 Royal Ave. And when it's done in fall 2027, the BC government says it will be a 20-story tower with 368 beds for students and classroom spaces. At a press conference Thursday, Premier David Eby says the new building is part of an effort to ramp up student housing before 2030. Our success in working with post-secondary institutions across the province to get this housing built allowed us to be even more ambitious in our targets. So we increased that 10-year target from 8,000 to 12,000 beds by 2028. The B.C. government says the 2024 budget provides $43 billion in capital funding for schools, post-secondary facilities and more. But the Alliance of B.C. Students says it's disappointed with what the budget has in store. In late January, the federal government capped admissions for international students coming into Canada who pay tuition fees much higher than what locals pay. I think they definitely could have done more for students uh, because with the recent uncertainties regarding the cap on international students and like how institutions will fund up their deficits, students have been kind of worried where the money will come from for post-secondary institutions and international students in particular are worried that their tuition fees might go up. EB wouldn't say if the government has plans to make all the new student housing coming online more affordable for international students, but maintains the province is doing a lot to support them. For public institutions, uh, we've taken steps to support international students by ensuring consistent uh, tuition year after year, that there won't be a sudden increase in their expenses in their second or third year after they've set out their budgets going forward. But with the high cost of international tuition, Manpreet Kaur says she hopes the government follows through in the coming years to make student housing more more effective. While these projects that the government highlighted in the budget are helpful for students, not all of them are recently funded, like some of them were started before. Um, and we appreciate that, we just want to see the continuity, like because student housing was in a good place once, then got really bad, and now we're starting to like catch up. In the meantime, Mitch Nguyen says she's looking forward to visiting the new housing at Douglas College when it's all done. I'm so excited for the impact that it's going to have on the students, especially um, when I don't have to travel such a long way to get to school, I have to stay so late for classes, and um, the rent um, is going to be much more easy on, easier on them as well. In U.S. Minster, Kier Junos, City News.